Hello, Biloxi. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Sadie Kate. We're here to showcase more great programs at Biloxi High School for the month of November. To begin with, here are some highlights from all state show choir performance. Biloxi High School Sound Surge and Sound Sirens show choirs were able to host the Mississippi All State Show Choir Conference and performance here in our BPAC in October. All State is an event where the best high school show choir students from across Mississippi are selected to put on a show and perform it together. And what a great job they did. Now we have some exciting updated buses coming to Biloxi High. Biloxi High School plans on having new electric buses. Here's Soske A and Superintendent Marcus Brudreau to tell us about the grant to fund the buses and what that means for transportation in our district. So hi, I'm Soske uh, here with uh, Mr. Brudreau, Superintendent of Biloxi Public Schools, and I'm asking him uh, some questions questions about uh, Biloxi Public Schools implementing uh, electric buses. So Mr. Budero, uh what are some of the like reasons that the district decided to like implement the electric buses? Yeah, so we've got a, a long time partnership with Schneider Electric. We've been partnering with them for probably over 15 years and they help us with a lot of different energy conservation projects. And they approached us about a year and a half ago with uh, the opportunity to apply for a federal EPA bus grant and we saw it as a great opportunity for us to move forward with our um, initiatives for energy conservation. I see. So how do you think like this implementation will affect the students, uh, teachers, and like uh, people in like Biloxi Public Schools in general? The most obvious impact that it's going to have is a cost savings for the school district. So with this grant, we got a uh, about $11.4 million, and we had the ability to immediately replace 29 buses. So we were able to take our oldest 29 buses and replace them with 29 new electric buses. And the great thing about that is some of our buses are over 20 years old. So the fact that every single year we replace one or two buses annually this just 
increased that rate rapidly and we went to 29 brand new buses so about half of our fleet gets a instantly upgraded oh okay and like where does that uh budget or like the money comes from like that's a lot of money it's but... a lot of money i've never signed a purchase order that large <laughs> so whenever i signed that purchase order for 11 million dollars for these buses i was like wow um so the great news is it doesn't come out of anybody in biloxi's pockets it's a part of a federal grant that we received through the environmental protection agency so that like i said that's the beauty of it is it's free money uh a normal bus costs a little over a hundred thousand dollars these electric buses cost about three hundred eighty thousand dollars each, but we're getting them all for free through this federal grant. Uh, you're mentioning about like those electric buses will like save some money in the future or like long term, but like like how does it like save the like cost? So again, it saves us on the fact that we're not replacing buses annually, which again is about $100,000 per bus. But additionally, electric buses don't have the same engine components that a traditional bus has. So we're gonna save on mechanical costs. You also don't have diesel um, prices anymore because you're not gonna be put diesel in these buses because they're gonna run on battery operation. Uh, while there are you know a lot of like advantages on like implementing electric buses but are there like any like disadvantages of in implementing electric yeah, buses I mean, obviously the advantages i mean you're, you're going green so you've got new electric buses that aren't going to be putting out tailpipe emissions off these diesel buses the software that will charge these buses it will you'll tell it what time you need the bus to have a full charge. So for example, when you plug this bus in at 5 p.m. in the evening, it knows it has to be ready to go at 5 a.m. It's going to analyze the electrical grid, the software will, find the cheapest rates of electricity for it to get a full charge by 5 a.m. using the cheapest rates that it can. So it's really gonna save us money, it's really cool. But there is a disadvantage, so right now, as everybody knows, and anytime you have electric vehicles, the range of an electric vehicle is not the same as a gas-powered vehicle or a diesel-powered vehicle. So we're still gonna to have to have diesel vehicles within our fleet or gas-powered vehicles within our fleet because we still have activity trips, we have extracurricular uh, activities, um, but the electric buses are perfect for our regular everyday school routes. Like those 29 buses, like. Uh, are they gonna like begin its operation like from next year or like are they gonna start like slowly? No, so it'll be about another year before we get the buses. So we just started the process of ordering them. So it will probably be the start of not next school year, but the following school year that you'll start seeing these buses really out and rolling. Um, what we have to do first, we have to get the infrastructure put in place at our transportation department for charging the buses. Um, once that is done, we've already placed the order for the buses, but they're still about a year out before they ship. So it's not gonna be something that you're gonna immediately see. It's gonna be about a year away. But Alexi High School Tribe Theater has been working hard on their competition play, Ridiculosis by Proxy. They will be performing it on the 21st of November in the B Pack. Here's Will Dale with more on that. Hi, my name's Will. I'm in 12th grade, and this is my third year in Tribe Theater. I'm Elva. I'm in 11th grade, and it is also my third year in Tribe Theater. I started out my sophomore year doing sound design and operating the soundboard for our competition play Eurydice and then I did a lot of set construction and building tons of painting. Then we got to the musical that year and I started um, helping with costumes and set and everything. And that's kind of what I've been doing. We, we, do a, we do a lot of moving things around, making sure everything's going on behind the scenes, making sure everything's perfect. My name is Amaya Hooker. I'm a junior and I'm in charge of costumes in the Biloxi Tribe Theater. And so our new show, Ridiculous is by Proxy, which if it's available, come and see it. But our costumes will be inspired by the 1940s. Hold on. This. Again, when the show's available, I advise you to come watch and enjoy yourself. Hello, my name's Avery McKenzie, and this is my second year at Bluxy Tribe Theater, and my character for our upcoming play is Voting Twice and Male Ensemble 4. Hi, my name is Saley Castillo. This is my second year in Tribe Theater, and I play Beginning to Feel a Little Unwell Ensemble 3 and Canaries and Coal Mines 3. My name is Mariki Wiley and I've been in Tribe Theater for two years. I play Outraged Man in Male Ensemble 5. The setting is from the 1940s, and we've been searching a lot to see how everyone dressed back then. My name is Naya. Um, this is my third year in Tribe Theater, and my role is politicians as puppets. My name's Hampton Bush. This is my third year in theater, and I play harassed husband, terrible newsman, and 
male ensemble one and six. Well, ridiculous is like an absurd play, base. So like it's really absurd, and it's basically talking about a new disease and what people's reaction to it. It's a real goofy one, y'all. It's really funny. There's a a lot of good jokes for all kinds of ages, little ones. You know, it's about, like you said, it's a sickness, um, and everybody's taking it totally out of proportions. And it's very funny, and there's lots of good points in it. So come out and check them out at the BPAC on November 21st at 6.30. Tickets are $10 general admission and can be purchased at the link below or cash only at the door. That's it for this month. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel, Tribe TV, and our social media pages. Thanks for watching, and of course, Go, Go Big, Big Red! Red.